I know it might have been some time. I know it might have been hard for you. I know it might be like, when is it coming, God? When is it coming? Like, where, when, when is it coming? The time, but it's coming. You got to stay faithful. You got to stay hopeful. I know it might have been some time. I know it might have been hard for you. I know it might be like, when is it coming, God? When is it coming? Like, where, when, when is it coming? The time, but it's coming. You got to stay faithful. You got to stay hopeful. Try to like delay and try to, you know, derail me. No, the devil used you because you're going to be punished severely for your actions or lack thereof. So to try to like delay and try to, you know, derail me. No, the devil used you because you're going to be punished severely for your actions or lack thereof. I was about to get out here and go order a charm. I went to the Most High God. I went to Jesus Christ. I didn't go order no charms. I didn't go pray over no stump. I didn't go try to contact a witch doctor the most money I I had. And just and they thought that I was about to get out here and go order a charm. I went to the Most High God. I went to Jesus Christ. I didn't go order no charms. I didn't go pray over no stump. Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is the brother of Matazar from the Chicago camp, coming back at you again with another lesson entitled Itching Ears. All right, so you saw in the video, you see this uh, hair hat wearing harlot. <laughs> as the brother Murph say, all right, uh, look at her eyelids, okay? Let's see what the scripture says about eyelids. We brought this out before. Sirach 26 and 9. It says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Okay. All right. So she's not fooling anybody. All right. Who am I going to believe? Am I going to believe her report? Or am I going to believe the Lord? Okay. The Lord says that a haughty looks is known and the whoredom of a woman may be known in her eyelids. All right. Also, when you watch the video, you see she had a tongue ring. Right? What do you think that's for? Okay? Well, she calls herself a prophet. Okay? She's a whore. This is Second Timothy 4 and 2. It says, Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears okay so these people have lifted have heaped upon themselves teachers all right the, the, these people have heaped upon themselves teachers they accept these women okay call themselves teaching them she ain't got no word she ain't got no truth she ain't got nothing she's wasting people's time and she's gonna punish for it she's gonna be punished for it this is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. She's calling on Jesus Christ. All right? She's trying to tell you she got a word from the Lord, but she's calling on Jesus Christ. She's calling on the uh, idol. Okay? That's who she's calling on. Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. And when I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. You can't tell me that this woman has not heard, all right, that she's supposed to keep her mouth closed 
all right? You can't tell me she hasn't heard the truth or the message come out at this point. This is Second Ezra 9 and 9. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which, not ha which, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty to lock you. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay? All right? So, listen. They don't know the Lord. Okay? Proverbs 8 and 4 in closing. Proverbs 8 and 4, it says, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. All right? The Lord says his voice is to the sons of men. All right? Not to women. Job 39 and 17. It says, Because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Revelations 2 and 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture are men. I am your power, said the Lord, said uh, Yahweh power. All right. And lastly, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32, uh, it says, And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Okay, all right. So, so women are supposed to keep silent in the churches. Oh no, 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 no. We're supposed to get our own platform and call ourselves prophetess and put on comp catcher eyelashes and put in tongue rings. Okay, with our lace fronts. Listen. She's wasting it. She's wasting everybody's time. She's wasting her own time. All right. And these foolish women that's, that's following after them, all of them going to be destroyed. I pray that this lesson was edifying to the next one. Shalom.